Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 677. And this movie is Emily. Emily is a 2022 film that is directed by Francis O'Connor. This is from Brito Street Media, Ingenious Media, and Bankman Films, Beagle Pub Productions, and Temple Productions that I saw on February 24, 2023 at AMC Westchester 18 in Westchester, Ohio. So, this is based on the story of Emery Brant, who is, who, who, whose last name is spelled B-R-O-N-T-E, who is the writer that wrote the beloved book, Wolverine Heights. So this film, this film imagines the transform, transformative Accelerating an uplifting journey to womanhood of a rebel and a misfit who was one of the world's most famous energetic and proclamative writers who died too soon at the age of 30. So it's a fictional or part fictional portrait of English writer Emily Bront, concentrating on the fictional romantic relationship with William Waitman. And so, Emma Mackey portrays Emily Bront in the film. And so, the film details the past and present of how Emily Bront became to be a writer and how her story of womanhood inspired her to write the novel Wuthering Heights. So, the film details Emily and her family, especially Emily and her sisters. And Emily is just trying to have a different wife than her sisters or family. She's trying to find her womanhood, her ideal sense of what she wants to be. And she actually becomes involved in a relationship with William Waitman. And there are things that happen in this movie that causes Emily to think about herself, to think about why her family doesn't value what she wants to be. And her family just wants Emily to just fall like in the family's footsteps, especially with her sisters. They want Emily to be more normal. Or well, people think Emily is a crazy one. But Emily has a lot of ideas in her head that is pretty good. And she wants to become a writer. The problem is she doesn't show she doesn't show what you exactly write about. And so when she becomes involved with William Waitman, she is in love and I won't say the family disapproves of it, but they're not exactly thrilled about it either. But this journey of womanhood to womanhood of her being a rebel and a misfit had captured what she needed to, ha to have writing in her mind in other words, the movie portrays how she is able to create Wolverine Heights because of her relationship with her family, this relationship she has with William, and the fact that people thought she was a rebel and a misfit all her life. But she might be the inspirational one or more or the creative one. And I won't say what happens, but unfortunately, she dies too soon at the age of 30, but she does finish the book. I believe, anyway. But yeah, she does finish, yeah, I believe she does finish the book, and it is one of the most beloved books of all time.
and I really enjoy this movie. It's pretty good. So that's my movie review of Emily. Please stay true for my next movie review. Alright, goodbye.